speaking of somebody that technically, yes, is also a loser, but a winner at the same time, because in one night she retained her title and lost it. Well, actually, in about 12 minutes, she retained her title and lost it. Ronda Rousey. Talk about Ronda Rousey, who is no longer the SmackDown Women's Champion. So this past Saturday night at Money in the Bank, she defeated Rousey, that is, defeated Natalia to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. Uh, during that match, sorry about that, I had a, something in my throat. During that match, Ronda Rousey injured her leg, quote unquote, injured her leg. Was having a hard time putting weight on her right leg. This then led to, yes, her winning the match, but her being hurt after the match and Liv Morgan running down to the ring. Morgan would waste no time cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase and going after Rousey. Rousey at first made it look like she was going to win. She was going to keep her belt. She put on the, the ankle lock. Liv Morgan got out of it, rolled up Ronda Rousey, and became the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Ronda would then take the title from the referee and hand it herself to Liv before hugging Liv and raising Liv's arm high. Now, we do know that in real life, Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey really close friends. I don't know. I, I don't know if I say really close, but I know that they're friends, and some mutual friends say they are close. And one mutual friend... Lazy the Savage on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, who used to be the um, personal videographer for Ronda Rousey and is close with both Ronda and Liv, stated that basically Ronda demanded she drop the title to Liv. Now, as far as what's next for Ronda Rousey and Liv Morgan, according to Dave Meltzer on the latest Wrestling Observer Radio, he states that it looks like the direction will be Ronda and Liv at SummerSlam, as Meltzer stated, quote, Right now, the plan is Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey at SummerSlam, which kind of surprises me in a lot of ways. They didn't leave with, with any heat. I mean, Ronda just hugged her, walked out of the ring, let her have her moment. It's interesting, though, because I think almost everybody figured it would be Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey at SummerSlam, and it's not. And Meltzer also would go on to allude that Ronda's been portrayed as a baby face since coming back to WWE. And if she's going to be taking on Liv at SummerSlam, not only is Ronda going to be treated by the fans as the heel and be booed ferociously, but she may have to be portrayed storyline wise as the heel as well. I mean, they could try to do baby face versus baby face. And it's just baby face Ronda and baby face Liv with baby face Ronda, just wanting to get her belt back. But all at the same time, knowing that this is her friend Someone that she admires and respects, but goes, hey, just because I like you, just because I respect you, just because we might be friends, doesn't mean that I don't have to beat your ass to take my to get my title back. So I think there are a number of different ways they can go about this. As far as if they don't want to fully turn Ronda heel. But it's going to be interesting because the crowd for sure is going to treat Ronda as the heel. Also, a um, little stat here. Ronda, no, Morgan became the 12th wrestler in history to win the SmackDown Women's Championship with her victory over Ronda Rousey. And it was the 23rd time in history the belt has changed hands. The belt has changed hands 23 times the SmackDown Women's Championship between 12 different women. 